Singer Bobby Brown narrowly escaped a deadly shooting overnight in Boston in which his future brother-in-law was killed. Maureen O'Boyle has the details on the latest trouble for the husband of Whitney Houston. This is Bobby Brown's cream-colored Bentley. You can see the bullet holes in the blood on the front seat. It happened early this morning in Boston's tough Roxbury section. Bobby was standing next to his car outside this CD bar. His sister's fiance, Stephen Seeley, was sitting inside. When a gunman opened fire, Seeley was hit in the head and chest. He died a few hours later at Boston City Hospital. Bobby Brown just happens at this point to be a witness. If it turns out to be something else, we'll find that out, we'll look into that. Spokesman Robert O'Toole says right now police have no motive and no suspects. You know, I'm not afraid to be Bobby. I'm not afraid to, um, to say or do anything that, you know, I feel like doing. That's Bobby talking about his bad boy image on the set of his new movie, Thin Line. Bobby's had many run-ins with the law. Last month, he was cited for allegedly kicking a hotel security guard in West Hollywood. In April, he and two companions were arrested in Orlando, Florida, and charged with beating a nightclub patron. In 1993, police in Augusta, Georgia, cited Bobby for simulating sex on stage in front of an underage audience. Sometimes controversy helps celebrities, but in an instance when someone's shot, it can't help. Michael Lewittis has written several stories about Brown for New York's Daily News. He says Bobby's wife, Whitney Houston, will stand by her man. But just last week, Whitney issued a statement confirming reports of the couple's marital difficulties. Not long ago, Bobby called those rumors a bunch of baloney. As far as my real life, you know, that I'm married, happily, very happily married, and very happy, proud father. Well, Bobby and Whitney have a two-year-old little girl, Bobby Christina. Neither Bobby nor Whitney have spoken publicly about the shooting. North Allen Dave. All right. Real tragedy.